Hello and welcome to another episode of Fun With Photos. Today I want to introduce you to a fantastic little app called Snapseed. It can make your photos look absolutely stunning. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour. First of all, Snapseed is an app that you must download to your and install on your phone. It works with iPhones and iPads. It works with Androids. It also works with Chromebooks. If you can install an Android app on your Chromebook, that's a great way to go. It does not work on Windows or Mac. It's not a desktop program at all. Once it's installed, you can use it as a standalone app, but realize then you can only edit photos that are on that same device. I like using it from Google Photos. Since it's made by Google, they work together. On an Android, you would open the photo that you want to edit, tap the edit button, and then scroll over to more. You'll see Snapseed there. On the Google Photos iOS app, iPhone or iPad, you open the photo and you just swipe up on it and you will see open in Snapseed. Now on the geeksontour.com website, we have a learning guide. It is for members only, but it's a complete learning guide to Snapseed, including written instructions and a playlist of videos. Or for free, you can watch our YouTube show, the What Does This Button Do? episode number 240. Today, I just want to whet your appetite by showing you what I can do with four different photos. This old photo of Yosemite that looks so washed out, I'm going to show you how I turn it into this. This photo of the Gateway Arch on the Mississippi River, I'm going to show you how I turn it into this. This picture of Jim and me in front of the Pantheon in Rome, I wanted to use as a post, so I added, I'm going to show you how to add text to a banner at the bottom. This photo of Niagara Falls is to demonstrate how you can use a brush to just get more color in a certain area like that rainbow. And lastly, everybody asks, how do you get rid of the wrinkles? Well, look at this. I'll show you how I, how I do that. For this first, first picture, I'm going to use my Android, my Samsung phone, and notice I am in Google Photos. I open the picture I want to fix, tap Edit, scroll over on the horizontal menu till I hit More, and then scroll over until I see Snapseed. Snapseed must be installed on this device. Now, what I want to do, it's called a tool, and it's the very first tool, Tune Image. What you do is you swipe up and down on the photo to get your choices. I like this one called Ambiance. Notice it says Ambiance Zero at the very top. Now if I swipe right or left, it gives me more or less of that feature. Is that nice or what? I like it. I tap the check mark. I want to use one more tool and that is Details. Notice they are the first and second tools. Details, same thing. I can go up and down to choose which I like structure. I go right and left to choose more or less. I like that. And when and I so I tap the check mark. Now I'm out looking at my finished product. If I want to see what my original looked like, you long press. Is that dull and boring and that beautiful or what? On the Android now, I can just tap Done and I am back to Google Photos. And since that was a very old photo, it had to make a copy of it and it put the result in today. So there is the result in Google Photos. For the next one, I'm going to use the iPad because I like the, using the bigger screen. I open Google Photos and I'll find the photo I want to edit. It's that one. Notice that this is back in June of 2004, so you can find those old favorite photos and make them look better. In Since I'm on an Apple device now, I just swipe up and choose Open in Snapseed, as long as Snapseed is installed. 
Sometimes you'll find that a previous photo is still open. In that case, you have to force quit Snapseed and start over with Google Photos and open in Snapseed. Now I have it right. And notice that I no longer see the Word tools along the bottom. Instead, I have a pencil. And that's just because of the orientation. If I hold my iPad vertically, then I get the Words tools down at the bottom. But I want to hold it horizontally, so I use this pencil, and there is the same tune image. I rub up and down, ambiance, increase it, and check mark, tools, and details, and structure, and increase it. Wow, is that better or what? There was my original dull photo. There is the new, almost three-dimensional. Also, on the iOS devices, there is no done to return you to Google Photos. I have to tap the share and save, and then go back to Google Photos manually. Sometimes it can be hard to see where Snapseed dated your photo, whether it appears next to the existing one or not. I use, therefore, the recently added. If I tap on search and recently added, it will show me whatever most recent photos were added, regardless of the date they have listed as date taken. So here's the one that was just added. I can scroll up and see that, yes, it was dated the same as the original. For the next three photos, I'm just going to show you what to do in Snapseed, not the whole process from Google Photos. So here is that one of us in front of the Pantheon. I swipe up, open in Snapseed, and what I want, I want a black border. I'm going to do that with a tool called Expand. And then you just drag this little, you have a choice of expanding Smart, so it tried to assume that the whole picture needed to be. I didn't want that. X, I, tools, expand. I want to make sure that it's a black border, not a white or a smart. And I drag this little marker down and I now have a black border. Now I want to put text on that border. So I choose the text tool and Double tap here to change, and saluti aroma. And now I want to move that down into the border, and I am done. For this Niagara Fall and Rainbows, I first like to do my normal ambiance. and detail, but then my main purpose for showing you this picture is to use something called the brush tool. I want more color, but only in the rainbow. So I get into the brush, I choose saturation, and now I can just rub my finger on the rainbow and it gets brighter without overwhelming us with the rest of the picture. There's my original. There's the new one. Yes. Now for those nasty wrinkles. There is a special tool called Portrait. And it automatically brightens my face a bit. I can still rub up and down. Skin smoothing is what I want. Rub over to the right and most of the wrinkles are gone. I also, I want it even a little bit more bright. That's called face spotlight. And I move over. You do have to be careful not to overdo these things, but what do you think? That's my original. That's the improved one. Snapseed. Try it. You'll like it. And remember, if you join GeeksOnTour.com, you'll get a complete learning guide and lots more videos on learning Snapseed.